Hello! While well, I'm working on these time travelers, let me just a, a little peek here. Lots of tabs. These need finishing. While well, I'm working on these, I managed to finish these two and I wanted to flip through, make a flip through of them. Uh, this one has three signatures, quite a thick um, this pine. This one has four signatures. I love these butterflies on the spine. It's a little bit different than the one that I have in my shop. This is altered a little bit. And this one is the same. I might add something on the covers. For example, there are two butterflies that I have over there. This one and this one that I have uh, made a double. Let me show you. There. On this sheet there are these butterflies that, that you can fussy cut. I have cut down a couple of those and glued them on here so that it makes a little 3D, gives an impression of a 3D object. It's quite nice. Okay, let's start with this smaller one. It's soft cover. I have half decorated them. There's still lots of room for writing and journaling. You could add a lot of embellishments here. There's those antique ledgers, avocado dyed papers. The green rose. Lots of flowers and butterflies and fruits. That's an antique poem page of a poem book from, I think it was from the 1800s, and it has gold on the edge, at least it up in here. Antique ledger, uh, that one was a print, there's a book page, More flowers on ledger, a book page, tea dyed, more ledger, this the poem page, more Butterflies or moths. An old book page. Also here, tea dyed. I've used a lot of my uh, printables as well as vintage and antique papers. This one is an old brown uh, or worn page, very old. 
and there's a French postage stamp green to fit this green rose paper. That was that. Then the larger one. Soft cover. It makes this cr crinkly noise. There's a pocket and I was going to cut some tags for it. There. And let's put some strings on them. To decorate a little bit. I just had an idea. Let me, see, let me see. I could add some butterflies over there too. Yes, let's do that too at the same time. I will cut these. Okay. I'm not very good at this fussy cutting or exact cutting, <laughs> but I will try to do my best. Move the move the item, not your scissors. I have heard said that's the best way to do it. Can you see it? this and there's a little bit of that white that I don't want there now I need some glue This, these strings could be like the, what are the, they, they call these pointy, pointy things on, on the butterfly. Butterfly's head, I can't remember, they are like an, antennas, yes, that's it. Let's see now. Did it work? Yeah, that looks nice. When it dries up, it's going to be more sturdy. Mm -hmm. Pretty. And where was I? I, w I was, whoops, my camera. I was putting on these strings. To the tags. And it gave me the idea of those, of those embellishments. Inside the journal. Two more. Like so, and this one. And since these are so dark with the um, brown brown color i think they need something to brighten them up and for that i might use these 
these book plates that are on the kit. They are pretty. Pretty enough to embellish those. Okay, I need my larger scissors. They make I can I can cut more evenly with these. Then I could use this book plate which has the words butterflies and moths. these. These could be... maybe they both look better on the center. That one looks good on this in the center. This one maybe yes, maybe over there or down here. No, it's over there. The eye tells you if it's on in balance. Trust your eye. Yes, there is this little line over there, and if you match it with this background line between the lighter and the darker color, it looks balanced. That's good. Now we are ready to continue. There was this pocket, <laughs> and let's put this one here. Then there's this butterfly page with some paper collage and extra butterfly over there. I added this one from the kit and some ledger. This is from some old um, pattern paper pad that I have tea dyed. More butterfly papers. Roses. There's a little pocket. Let's put this tag in there. It's an antique paper bag. This paper is eco dyed from eco dyed printable from Mirha. Thank you, Mirha. There's coffee dyed papers, and there's this cute little butterfly flying over there. Some number snippets over there. More eco dyed printables from Mudham. There's the, the other one, other side of that paper bag. Let's put this tag 
in here. This one was a prototype I was making uh, for um, Alice in Wonderland themed things. <laughs> There's some uh, postage stamps. Lots of butterflies and snippets. Coffee dyed paper. Eco dyed from Mirha. It fits perfectly in here. More stamps. And my jelly prints with Jojo Craft stencils, tea bag papers, more jelly prints, printable, these, these, these butterflies are upside down, I might have to do something with it. I'm going to put a pocket over it with the same image right side. Sometimes this happens but no worries because it's paper you can always cover it up and for example print, print another one of these and put a pocket with the same same image or something else just like you want it. No worries. Some more butterflies. Pretty, very pretty. And my coffee dyed. More ecodite printable. Thank you, Mirho. As you can see, it is really beautiful, matches beautiful with the butterflies and flowers. Butterflies and moths, VM. There's this butterfly ledger. Some paper collaging, and there is a pocket. over there and a finished stamp number and snippets these were prototypes the numbers on my shop in my shop they they are individual numbers there's also a pocket over there Coffee dyed paper, more butterflies, coffee dyed paper, eco dyed, gorgeous. And this one needs something. We could cut this down and make this a tag. Just a second, I will do that. There. It fits nicely. And there's also this antique uh, 
and paper, hand modeled on the inside of the covers. So there was that. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked it and if you did please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye bye!